Hey guys, I know it's been a hot minute since I uploaded anything, so I just wanted to give a quick life update, talk a little bit about a new uploading schedule, and what you can expect from this channel in the future. As an added bonus, we're going to do a taste test of these weird chocolate bars. So if you're here for the candy, I'll put a timestamp down below so you can skip my babbling and get right to the good stuff. For the videos I've put up so far, I know they're not the best quality, but if I had kept putting it off, this channel never would have happened at all. So my goal was to just upload what I could, slowly get better equipment and software and get more comfortable in front of the camera. And eventually I want to have my own space to film recipes as well. I don't live alone and for a while there was always someone home or in the way whenever I wanted to try and cook and film and it got too hard to share the kitchen. And then of course the holidays rolled around and work got busy and it just got too crazy to try and film something every single week. Now my work schedule has changed. It's set. I should have the same days off every week and I should pretty much have the kitchen to myself most of the time. Um, I also think before I was a little too ambitious trying to do a video a week. I was trying to copy some of my favorite YouTubers and not thinking about having to do the filming and the cooking and the writing and everything myself. So I want to at least try and do a video a month, possibly every other week once I get into a groove. I also want to start filming other people's recipes like take tests or trying out big kitchen recipes to see if it's possible to kind of scale them down to home kitchens. See if they turn out like everybody says. Or just to see if someone in a normal home kitchen could pull it off. Or also just testing random recipes that I found online. There's also a chance that you might see more DIYs or product tests on this channel. That's something that I've wanted to do since YouTube first came around. And I was in high school when that happened. And so of course I didn't have the money to go buy all of these products and start testing. So nothing ever really came of that, but I was disappointed when I started seeing other channels get popular doing the same things. I pretty much just thought that was it for that dream, and then I realized that there were a lot of channels kind of doing the same thing, and I shouldn't be afraid to do what I want. So there's just a little bit of an idea of where we're headed, and I wanted to be honest with anyone watching about what they could start seeing or what to expect. And I also kind of need to get the information out there to hold myself accountable. Um, I hope that by by putting it out there that I'll, I'll have something to hold myself to. But enough about me. Let's get on to the food. I got these three chocolate bars at a um, movie store. It's like a DVD or a CD store at a mall in Texas. It was called Suncoast. I don't know if these are available anywhere else or if these stores are everywhere. I just happened to find one. And the first one I saw was the crunchy tortilla. And at first I thought that didn't sound too strange. It just sounded like they put tortilla strips in chocolate. But then if you read the ingredients, it actually has like cumin and onion powder, chili powder. So it sounds like they really went all out to give you the taco flavor. Same thing with the french fry and ketchup. There's like tomato powder and onion powder in here. So we'll see. I don't know if these are filled. That would be interesting. The next one is the Reptar Bar. If anyone's watched the Rugrats and they recognize this guy, it's supposed to be just like the show. It's filled with green and it'll turn your tongue green. So that'll be fun too. I'm going to start, I think, with the taco, because that's the first one I saw. I'm going to try to do this with as little editing as possible, as little stopping as possible. Here we go. Looks pretty unassuming. Kind of see chunks of something in there. Just your little tortilla bits. Whoa. 
it doesn't taste like too much at first you just taste the chocolate and you can feel the crunch and then once you get into it a little more you can really taste like the corn chip taste and now I'm starting to get some spices like in the back of my throat but I can't really taste which spices they are I just feel a spiciness So this one had the chocolate, tortilla chips, sea salt chip, chipotle pepper powder, and jalapeno powder, which is probably more what I'm feeling, but it's actually pretty good. Okay, I'm moving on to the french fries. This one is supposed to have the milk chocolate and potato chips, which you see all the time, chips and chocolate, okay. And then there's freeze dried white onion powder dried tomato powder, roasted garlic powder, and chili chipotle pepper powder. It's got that same look. No logo, no discernible markings on the chocolate itself. Not as big of chunks as the of the chips. Yeah, there it is. It takes a second to hit it, but you can taste both of the flavors. You can taste the tomato and the fry. Wow. It's super weird, but they're both really good. These were each $2.99. And I, I would recommend them if you have, like, a gag gift. You could just stick them in, like, a gift basket of other taco stuff or other you know, spices or seasonings or sauces. I think that would be really fun to kind of hand out. They were good stocking stuffers. The Reptar bar does have like the Christmas lights on it. So I think these were for Christmas. These would be good for any holiday or birthday. It does say um, distributed by FYE on the back. So if you have one of those in your mall, I would check out any movie store to see if maybe they have them. And if you don't, the brand is Astor Chocolate, A-S-T-O-R. <clears throat> I would definitely recommend them. They're both really good. That was like the most unassuming one for last. I'm a little disappointed. All right, so it's got the green wrapper. Oh, it's got the same look. There's nothing on it. I figured it would have the Rugrats logo or a Reptar logo or something. Snap. There's the green frosting. There's no... There's nothing different in the ingredients list than what you would expect to find, the milk and cocoa and sugar. <clears throat> and it doesn't say that it's supposed to have like any specific flavor. It just tastes like the like frosting you get in a can. It did say filled with green frosting, so I'm not sure what they were expecting as far as the filling. And it does turn your tongue green. As promised. So those Reptar bars were actually on sale. They were two for $2.99 or it was buy one get one free. So I do think that those were a Christmas item that they were putting down on sale to get rid of. So I would hurry up and go check out now and see if you can find them if you really want one of those. Those are definitely fun. I know the 90s is really popular right now. That would also be fun as a gift or stocking stuffer or that kind of thing. These were all really good. And the first two with the chili powders and everything 
and garlic powder, onion powder, the tomato. You could really taste the tomato and the ketchup. I was pleasantly surprised. I would, I would recommend any of them. I would run out and get all of them and share them with your friends. Great conversation starter, great get together, sleepovers, that kind of thing. So go forth and find your chocolate and enjoy and look for more of those videos in the days to come. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.